Well, I'm Satoru Miyamoto. The, in this paper, we present the resonant escape over an oscillating value in single electron ratchet transfer. <coughs> now we consider the Brownian particle as a summary crossing between the two stable potentials that which is subject to the periodic and the symmetric perturbation. And the, <coughs> the, the particle in the such metastable, uh, by, by stable potential is a typical model of the, thing, uh, the switching device. And the <coughs> switching rate can be controlled by ejecting the external noise. The, at a, the weak noise, the escape, the transition is too slow for the particle to switch to the other state. At a large noise, the switching occurs so frequently and randomly and in the period of the, the input signal. <coughs> The when the, the, the when the switching time is in, is is matching with the half period of the input signal, the particle hopping motion can stochastically synchronize its its periodicity. Therefore, even though the input signal is below the threshold, the noise assists the <coughs> assists the output of the periodic signal. The, the, and then the ratio of the output signal with the background noise can be significantly enhanced by adding the noise at the moderate level. Such an uncontaitative uh, phenomena is known as a stochastic resonance. And uh, <coughs> its physical origin is a uh, <coughs> The synchronization between the stochastic process and the, and the deterministic signal. <coughs> the concept of, of the stochastic resonance was originally introduced as a possible explanation for the uh, for the ice age periodicity. However, the, this phenomenon can be commonly observed in a wide spectral nonlinear dynamic systems. The, such as the names and the speed and the MOSFET networks and the logic gate and the semiconductor-based artificial neurons. <coughs> In order to scale down the size of the electronic device, we need to design the, taking into account the, some inherent fluctuations such as the thermal noise. So this phenomenon let us know that we should the <coughs> utilize rather than eliminate the thermal noise in the nanoelectronic devices. <coughs> now, the, according to the, the, a large number of the theoretical work, the, this phenomenon, resonant phenomenon, can be investigated even by dealing with the monostable potential. The, <coughs> now, the, if the particle escape is assisted by the thermal fluctuation, the escape rate can be described by the Kramer's formula shown here. And the, when the potential barrier itself is periodically oscillating the, on the time scale characteristic of the stochastic escape event, that is the escape rate, the, the stochastic, stochastic resonance activation can occur the, <coughs> and the shortening the average escape time. The, such as resonant activation have been observed only in the macroscopic system of the tunnel diode and the current bias to Josephson junction. As Yumi expects, the single electron system in the classical regime is also suited for the verifying the resonant activation of a Brownian particle on a nanoscale. <coughs> Recently, a Nobel transfer scheme have been proposed and demonstrated on the basic concept of the ratchet. The, <coughs> this system provides us uh, with the physical platform for investigating non-equilibrium dynamics of the single electrons in metastable state. Now an AC pulse voltage applied to the left side gate and the lower steady voltage applied to the right side gate to form a fixed hide barrier. 
the single electrons are captured from the left, you know, the, due to the Coulomb blockade, and the, by lifting the bottom of the potential, these captured electrons can escape from the quantum node completely over the right side value. When the n electrons are conveyed from the left to the right in one cycle, that we can produce the quantized current at the integral multiple of EFRC, where FRC is a this time modulating frequency. So the recently, the <clears throat> now that we focus on the this, the when the the potential is switched off, the single electron trapping can be realized. And recently, the escape dynamics from a such metastable potential uh, have been investigated in detail. And we suggest the thermal activation is a dominant process in the, at the, when the device is operated at 16K. The, in this work, the resonant activation of the single electron over the weakly modulated right side barrier was in, experimentally investigated in the single electron ratchet. Now we use a triple gate to silicon nanowire MOSFET, which is uh, fabricated on a silicon on insulator wafer. Now the three gates <coughs> are widely, uh, eventually covered by the wide upper gate, and the now single electron flows from the source to the drain in this silicon nanowire channel. And the three lower gate act as a partition in this silicon nanowire channel, and uh, in the gap region between the lower gate, the it, double quantum node are electrically formed, and uh, their potential can be controlled mainly the, by the upper gate voltage, and the detailed device parameter shown here. <coughs> now we focus on the left side quantum node, not double quantum node. The all experiments were performed at 16K, and that we actually measured the output current with applying the on-off pulse train to the left side gate with like this. This lower figure shows the output current of the current staircases as a function of the upper gate of voltage and the gate of, gate of voltage. <coughs> now that we the, uh, the, the upper gate voltage is set to the, uh, the 5.0 volt, the one electron trapping is realized. And uh, <coughs> the whether or not the, the captured electron <coughs> can be actually ejected depends on the gate of voltage. The negatively small gate of voltage induce the incomplete ejection of the single electrons. So if we, uh, you can, as you can expect, that if we wait for more time with the left side switch, gate, switch, gate switched off, these remaining electrons can escape from the quantum dot. So the left figure show the time resolved result or the escape probability <coughs> at a different voltage applied to the right side gate. <coughs> Here, the escape probability uh, can be calculated from the, the as a, calculated as a, uh, it, the, the value of the output current normalized by, by the EFRC. So that, as you can see, the negatively small gate of voltage form a lower barrier so that the single electron escape occurs more likely. <coughs> the, here, the escape times can be determined by fitting, with the, the ex, uh, by fitting the experimental data with the single exponential curve. As plotted in the right side of the figure, the, <coughs> the, escape the escape times are found to change exponentially with increasing the, the barrier height on the right side. The, this indicates the single electron dynamics, escape dynamics, follow the Kramer's formula around the one point, minus 1.4 volt. So in order to form a dichotomously oscillating barrier, the voltage applied to the right side gate is modulated at the center of the minus 1.4 
effectively, effectively, the escape times is in the order of the 1 to the 100 megahertz. The, when the RB frequency is uh, scanned the, within the range from the 0 0.15 to the 150 megahertz, the resonant, we can expect the resonant activation. The, and then the average escape times takes a minimum, and the single electron escape can be resonantly accelerated. The, this mechanism is explained as follows. Now the single electron ratchet transfer is independently operated in the time scale on the, in the period of the, of the 60 nanosecond. In the low frequency regime, the single electron <coughs> the, needs to surmount the highest, either of the higher state or lower state of the body. As indicated, the blue and the red curves, the escape dynamics should be described the by the two different escape times. On the other hand, the, in the resonant regime, the single electron the electrons preferentially cross the lower state barrier. And uh, in addition, in the high frequency regime, single electron, electron experience the average height of the, the barrier. So the, therefore, the, for this lower regime, the Escape dynamics uh, can be should be described by the single escape escape time. So this figure shows the, es the time domain data of the escaping escaping electron as a function of the RF frequency. As you can see, the current suppression can be observed in the lower frequency regime, while the current enhancement resonantly appeared the around the several tens of the megahertz. The experimental data, as indicated, blue, orange, red arrows are again plotted in the, the lower figure in the form of the survival probability. As you can see, the experimental data can be well fitted with the, two, uh, the double exponential decay. On the other hand, in the higher frequency regime, the ex experimental data can be fitted with the, the single escape, uh, single, <coughs> sing, uh, single exponential uh, curve. And then the average escape times can be calculated from the survival probability by, by, based on the this relation. So that the, in the lower frequency regime, the average escape time is identical to the mean of the two fitting parameters. On the other hand, the resonant and the high frequency regime, the average escape time is given by the fitting parameter itself. The average escape times uh, <coughs> are plotted as a function of the RF frequency. As you can see, the escape time Average escape time shows uh, uh, resonance. <coughs> Even by changing the gate of voltage, the, we can see the similar resonant behavior. But please note, the average escape rate is uh, 100, around 100, 100 uh, the megahertz. The resonant frequency is also around 100 megahertz. So the <coughs> And in addition, the, average, the shorter average escape time requires the higher RF frequency. So the, hence, the minimum value of the average escape times are correlated to the corresponding RF frequency along the, the, this dotted line. <coughs> the, this, the resonant behavior can be, of, can be tuned by the RF amplitude with an increase in the RF amplitude, the, the time difference between the lower and the high frequency regime becomes more pronounced. The experimental plot in the lower frequency regime can be, 
uh, is in good agreement with the kinetic approximation given by the solid line. The, in the high frequency regime, the average escape times should approximately uh, the, approach the RF amplitude independent value of equal, equal to the ta, root tau minus tau ta plus. Therefore, the average escape times, the, the, the gradually deviate from the kinetic approximation. In addition, the, the tau law is, uh, is found to consistent with the limit of the kinetic approximation. This indicates a higher state of barrier formed with 50% probability blocks a single electron from the escaping. On the other hand, in the tau resonant, there is a good approximate with a two tau minus. This implies that single electrons can most likely cross the barrier when it is switched to a lower state. So this observed phenomenon uh, can be intuitively understood, as I mentioned before. In conclusion, the, the stochastic resonant escape with single electrons was experimentally observed in silicon-based silicon e single electron ratchet. So we found the single electron transfer, the subject to the weak barrier modulating, that is uh, strongly correlated to the, its oscillating frequency. The understanding of the stochastic interaction of the single electron with the determining signal may give uh, uh, important knowledge for development of the noise-assisted or noise-robust single-electron devices. Thank you for your kind attention.